If you want to have a good chuckle, keep in mind right now that this is the second time I'm filming because the first take I found out wasn't actually recording. I ran out of space on my SD card, but it was filled with so much fire as to what I think, what I'm pretty sure is gonna happen as soon as this 2020 Highlander gets released. What is happening guys? Are we here with Boston Automotive Consulting? And as always, this video is brought to you by SaveOnMyAuto.com. SaveOnMyAuto.com is a resource you can use when you're shopping around for the best deal on your next brand new car. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is dedicated to giving you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. I made a video just like this on the 2019 RAV4 when it was released last year. I was pretty accurate. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible right now on the Highlander as far as what I think is about to happen as soon as it gets released. What I think as far as what the culture is gonna be like in negotiating it, what rebates, what discounts are gonna be available, and how the lease numbers are gonna look like. Keep in mind, everything that I'm gonna be talking about right now is just speculation. It's possible, like it really is possible, that they may release it with rebates, but it's unlikely. So hear me out on this. If we see roughly about a 5% price increase, right? So if we were at like 42, 42.5 on a Highlander XLE before, we'd be talking about like a 44,600-ish MSRP on a new Highlander XLE, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, roughly right in there. I think that Toyota dealers are probably gonna sell them at MSRP. Not a dollar over, maybe a tiny bit less, if you live in like Boston or like New York or New Jersey, but if you're not in like a huge metropolitan area, you're gonna be seeing it at sticker. I don't think that they're gonna be playing this funny business like Kia and Hyundai are on the Telluride and the Palisade, but they're probably gonna sell for sticker. You'll probably see a lease loyalty rebate of $500. It's likely. And I think six months after, we may actually see actual rebates, like a $1,000 Toyota customer cash back. What I'm worried about though, is people going into the dealership, trying to lease the new Highlander and getting completely blindsided. Is that a word? with what the lease numbers look like. And I wanna break down for you exactly how this is gonna work. The new Highlander I'm speculating is gonna probably have a 65, maybe a 66% residual at 36 months at 10,000 miles a year. Toyota is probably gonna do an insane money factor like they do on the Tacoma TRD Pros. Probably gonna see a .00220-ish money factor on this new Highlander for a few months until things start to cool down. The good thing is, is that it took very little time for it to cool down on the Toyota RAV4. So I'm expecting the same exact thing on the Highlander. Let's look at some lease numbers, huh? So if we've got an MSRP at about 44,625, assuming you don't get a single dollar taken off, a 66% residual, with a 00220 money factor. So giving just your upfront fees, like your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, all that good stuff, do upfront. And assuming that $500 lease loyalty rebate, we'd be talking about a hideous $605 a month, including sales tax. That's a speculation. How many of you think, based off of this YouTube channel, based off of how accurate I've been, how likely my speculation is gonna be like. Let me know in the comments. But what I'm gonna do for you right now is tell you six months after the fact what it's probably gonna be leasing out for. So say you got about a $3,000 discount. Toyota cut the buy rate money factor down by half. So we're dealing with a 110 money factor. Same structure as before. Look at what happens. 427 a month, including sales tax. So simple, just getting a little bit of a discount and getting the money factor down, getting the interest rate down to somewhere reasonable. So they're not overcharging on interest because the residual is so high. Is that too much to ask for a Toyota? Maybe a little bit? I know, I'm sorry. Anyway, like I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, guys, visit saveonmyauto.com to shop around for a brand new Toyota or any car you got your sights set on, shopping around to multiple dealers is gonna land you the very, very best deal. And I definitely wanna encourage you not to rush into 
a brand new Toyota Highlander, give it a little bit of time, maybe even consider a 2019, people are seeing like 20% off on this thing. If you found this information useful and you wanna see more of these new car buying and negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to visit saveonmyauto.com as well as all the available resources down in the description below. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.